Alright, so I've had a chance, and I always say it's good to do a post fight review after the fight, you get your immediate reaction. But it's also equally good to do one, or at least talk about the fight the next day when you've had a chance to watch it, knowing the result, process what's happened, and really give it a good kind of diagnostic analysis, is the best way to describe it. So, Alexander Usyk, Daniel Dubois. Now, the shot in the fifth round, it's going to, it's dividing people, I can already see that. You've some people who are adamant that that fight, well Daniel Dubois was robbed, what some people are saying, not robbed in the sense of a decision, sort of, not leaving it up to the judges, but in a sense of that referee should have called a knockdown, and if Usyk was in as bad a shape as he looked, potentially could have been counted out, and Frank Warren said in the post-fight that he's going to lobby for the WBA to order a rematch, he feels that they will, in which case then, well, they'd order Daniel Dubois versus Alexander Usyk too again. In terms of the performance, now, that's, we'll talk about the low blow, me and Jamie later, because we're actually at 7.30, me and Jamie are going to be doing a live together, we're going to be talking about that in more depth there. You know my stance on what i seen it live, I was like, well, it looked a bit low, but when I saw the replay, I was like, yeah, that's borderline, you know, it's like, it obviously wasn't in the body, you know, it was on the kind of belt line, but when you have your trunks up high, it can be a bit of a grey area there, but it did look, to me, look fairly okay on the replay, it didn't see a massive issue with it, to be honest with you. In terms of the performance for Alexander Rusek, so, a lot of people were saying in the chat of the live I done, a lot of people were commenting saying that they feel that this shows that Alexander Rusek is old, he's over the hill, you know, they weren't impressed, even though he stopped Daniel Dubois, you know, made him quit, was winning most of the rounds pretty comfortably as well, a lot of people felt that he'd look slow, he'd slow down a little bit, and most people just weren't impressed with it, for me, I said it once, you know, in the build to this fight, and I'll say it again, I pretty much got the fight I expected, to be honest with you. I thought Dubois would be game. I thought that he would make Alexander Usyk uncomfy in there. I think he definitely exposed the weakness in Alexander Usyk. Well, say exposed. That weakness is there if you go back and look at him in the amateurs, that he had issues with the body. He was hurt a couple of times in the amateurs. He was obviously dropped by Baturbiev to the body. So the body for Usyk seems to be a weakness to him. Now, it's not uncommon that you have fighters who seem to take a very, very good headshot are a little bit fragile when it comes to the body you know if you look at heavyweight alexander rusek judging by what happened last night would spring to mind joe joyce springs to mind for someone who does have a pretty good chin remember against brian jennings all those years ago brian jennings had joe joyce really hurt to the body if you want to go and look at other divisions triple g tremendous chin all-time great chin when he fought the revichenko he was hurt a couple of times to the body so anyone like doesn't matter you could be built like brock lesnar and you get hit in the by fact, I think actually was it Alistair Overmar or Keen Velasquez, one of the other who hurt him to the body in UFC. It doesn't matter how big you are and strong you are, you get a good body shot, it hurts. It doesn't matter who you are. So with Alexander Rusek getting hit with that body shot, which did definitely hurt him, he needed a lot of time to recover from it. That's something that a lot of people are going to look at and say, oh, now, hmm, I'll use that. Now, I talked about Joshua. You know, saying in the build-up to both fights that he should have used gone to Alexander Usyk's body. He never really did, never invested in it. I think, stemming from last night, a lot of people will. Is Alexander Usyk old? Is he over the hill based upon that performance? To be honest with you, early on, I thought Usyk was doing what he needed to do. I think he thought he looked fine. I didn't think there was any real red flags there with Alexander Usyk that I wasn't expecting to see in terms of how the fight went. I thought that once that body shot from Joe from Daniel Dubois, we will call it a body shot. We got a borderline shot with it from Daniel Dubois. That took the air out of Alexander Rusek. It really did, and he did slow down quite a bit. I saw some people online saying that one of the reasons why Alexander Rusek may have also slowed down is the fact that it was raining a lot in Poland, and that it was making the ring a little bit more spongy. Which you know they normally take good care of the ring whenever there is rain to make sure that no rain gets in. Sometimes they'll put bags plastic bags on the fighters feet while they're walking to the ring to make sure their boots don't get wet so i don't know necessarily if i would say that's one of the contributing factors i think it was just the fact that he was hit with a good body shot it took the air out of him and daniel dubois was making an effort to go to alexander rusek's body he really was you know i said that dubois is a lot more stiff than anthony joshua he's more robotic but he doesn't fight in the same way as anthony joshua he's not gonna just try and box with alexander rusek for 12 rounds he's gonna try and take the bull by the horn at times in this fight and he did do that at times 
and that's what I felt was happening. I, in terms of Alexander Usek being, some people were saying, you know, oh, he's done, he's finished, etc. It's easy for Fury. Fury will take the fight next. And look, I hope he does take the fight next. But in terms of Usek being over the hill, do I think that? No. I think that that was pretty much the fight I was expecting. You know, you look at someone like Anthony Joshua, who literally fought the fight Alexander Usek wanted. You're going to... But like this, I'll give you a good example, right? You look at Billy Joe Saunders, right? When Billy Joe Saunders fought David Lemieux, he could not have looked any better, right? He looked perfect in that fight. He looked brilliant. But he was literally fighting a style that was tailor-made for him to look good. It was a good performance, don't get me wrong. But when you look at Lemieux, slow-footed, a plotter, he needs all the time in the world to set a shot so Billy Joe Saunders, you could not have looked any better. The style of Billy Joe Saunders against that. Against Anthony Joshua, you give you give Usyk all the room in the world, all the time, all the space. He's going to look amazing. He's going to look brilliant. He's going to outbox you. That's what he does. You make it a little bit tougher for him. You look to punch with him. You look to apply pressure. You make him work when he doesn't want to work. He's not going to look as good. He's going to lose rounds. He's going to struggle a little bit in there. That's what happens. You know, it's the old adage, styles make fights. And it amazes me that some fans can't really seem to, to, get, to grasp that concept. You know, you could... Fighter A could get knocked out by Fighter B. A Fighter B can get completely schooled, completely schooled by Fighter C. But Fighter A goes in, having lost the Fighter B, different style goes in with Fighter C, maybe beats him, or does better than Fighter B did. Just because it was one doesn't mean it's going to be the other, you know? You know, the best example would be, you know, you go look, George Foreman, fought Ken Norton, Joe Frazier, both of them beat Muhammad Ali. You know, Muhammad Ali got the wins back, but he still had to work hard for them. Most people thought Muhammad Ali was going to go in there with Foreman and get wiped out. He didn't. He beat George Foreman. You know, that is boxing in a nutshell. So was I surprised with what I seen in there from Alexander Rusek? No. Do I think it's a worry? No. Do I think that Daniel Dubois did better than... I thought he'd do okay. Obviously, he was losing the rounds, it's fair to say, but he was in them. He was game. He was giving as good as he got at most parts. Do I think that there's a worry that Alexander Rusek is over the hill? No, certainly not. Do I think there'll be a rematch order? That's going to be a very interesting one. That's going to be a very interesting one. What the WBA are going to rule? You know, they were talking about VAR, the VAR, going in place of boxing. I hope that doesn't happen. I don't particularly like VAR in the Premier League or in football. And I think that, you know, you're getting into a real... Like, if you're having to stop a fight mid-round to check this and check that, you know, that's just, that's just not going to work. That just isn't going to work. It really isn't. It's just not going to work in the slightest. So I don't think that's going to be something that's going to happen in the future. That's my thoughts on it. Alexander Rusek, Daniel Dubois, the vulnerability was there if you look at his amateur career, but most people were looking at his pro career. The vulnerability to the body, I think, has always been there for Rusek. Dubois was able to exploit it. Will the likes of Tyson Fury, the Philip Perkins, which is the world, be able to exploit it? It's something they're going to definitely look at 100%. So that's my thoughts on this. In terms of the people saying Alexander Rusek is in trouble, he's this, he's over there, he's there. I don't think he is, personally. I don't think he is. I think that that was just Daniel Dubois going in and making it tricky for Rusek and going to the body. You know, Don Charles was... I'm going to say it was Don Charles. I'm going to give Don Charles his credit. I suspect he was drilling it into Daniel Dubois. Go to Usek's body because Dubois was making a concerted effort to do that from early on. Whether it would be to hurt Alexander Usyk because he feels he's vulnerable, or whether it's to take the legs away from Alexander Usyk, which I do think contributed to one of the reasons why Usyk slowed down. You know, you're getting hit in the body a lot, you're 36 years old, it will slow you down, it'll slow anyone down. You know, so that's my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. 7.30 lads, over on Punch Perfect Box and Jamie's channel, I'll pin it in the chat. 7.30, we're going to be discussing this further, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed it, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. For now, lads and lassies, I'll talk to you. Peace.